Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back to another game here for the Fort St. John Huskies. As tonight, the Fort St. John Huskies will be taking on the Sex Smith Vipers as we're going to have another uh, great game on our hands once again. As yesterday, uh, I was with you once again. If you don't know who I am, I'm Peyton McCulloch, your play-by-play -play for tonight's game. Uh, as yesterday, the Fort St. John Huskies absolutely laid a butt whooping on the Fairview Flyers 9-1. to Will we get to see that once again here for the Fort St. John Huskies? I don't know, but we're going to be seeing a pretty entertaining game here for the Fort St. John Huskies. Uh, I'll get into a little bit of lineup changes before we get into the game. Uh, the one lineup change for the Fort St. John Huskies has Jaden Venz uh, jumping into the lineup there on that third pair defensive pair, taking out Tanner McCracken in tonight's lineup. Danner Sturgeon will be in the net for the Fort St. John Huskies. It's going to be a great game, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Also, before we get into the game as well, I'd like to just say make sure to go check out the Facebook page for the Fort St. John Huskies if you haven't already. Uh, they got some great stuff going on there right now. Uh, they got another player of the game, which is Oscar Burgess. If you guys don't know what that means, if you get a point in this game, your name gets entered into a draw to win a free pass to a regular season game for the Fort St. John Huskies, so make sure to go check that out. And also, one last thing as well, the Fort St. John Huskies are also auctioning off their pink jerseys starting Sunday, October 24th on Facebook. Uh, the bids will continue online until Breast Cancer Awareness Game on Friday, October 29th, which they'll be going up against the Grand Prairie um, Kings, which I got to say, that's going to be an entertaining game. So make sure to bid online. It goes towards the FSJ Hospital Foundation. It goes towards a great cause. So make sure to donate if you have some extra change. Uh, it's going to go towards a great cause. And these jerseys look pretty damn amazing. So make sure to go on the Facebook page, for St. John Huskies. Go check it out. They got some great stuff on there. So... We got a great game about to start here soon. The rest are about to come out here uh, between the Huskies and the Vipers. Uh, the Vipers right now are second place behind the Huskies as they look to knock off the Huskies from going 10-0 and to start off the season. So uh, will we get to see the Huskies go up 10-0? I, I think that would be pretty damn amazing if we get to see that here tonight. Uh, if we get to see this team go up 10-0, that would be astounding and, and just an amazing start for the Fort St. John Huskies as the rest are coming out to the ice now getting themselves ready for the game it's going to be a fun one here really really going to be a fun game I, I'm excited last night was you know definitely a blow for the Fort State John Huskies they brought their A game without a doubt their speed their physicality just everything that the Huskies brought last night will they bring it here tonight I believe so the Huskies been looking like an amazing team all year long playing tons of games throughout the season and most of the games have been all the way and they've been able to win most of those games so the, the fans are starting to fill into the arena as well. They're looking pretty ready. And the Huskies, they looked ready as well. During warm-up, they looked absolutely ready to go. They were goofing around, getting all prepared for the game. And they are looking ready as they're coming out to the ice now. All of them looking ready to go. Brandon Moody out there, a player that I was giving some praise in the last game. They're looking amazing, playing really well defensively alongside of his defensive partner there, Nathan Brownlee. Those are your top defensive pairings there for the Fort St. John Huskies here for tonight's game. And I absolutely enjoyed that defensive pairing last night. They were amazing the way that they, you know, played on the power play. Not just that, played really well defensively at five on five, transitioning that puck up the zone. Um, absolutely amazing defensive pairing. But another thing, uh, we, we, we got to talk about the forward core as well. That top line of uh, Nemo, uh, Dick, and Weeb as well looked absolutely amazing throughout the night as well. So it's going to be an entertaining game here for the Huskies and the Vipers as we're going to be getting to the national anthem here very, very soon. As the Husky players are out, the Viper players should be coming out here very soon. And quickly to go over some other scores around the NWJHL before we get the game started. Um, in, Do or in Fairview, uh, the Fairview Flyers are facing off against the Dawson Creek Kodiaks. Right now that game is tied up at two. And also down there in Grand Prairie, the Grand Prairie Kings are up 2-1 to, to one against the Priest River Navigators. So uh, those are your scores across the league here in the NWJHL. As we're getting ready for another game as we're about to get the National Anthem underway in just a bit. As I hope you guys are excited as I am. Will we get to see the Fort St. John Huskies go up 10-0 to start off the season? We will have to see. It's going to be an amazing game. So strap in tight as we're about to get the National Anthem underway.
we are. The national anthem is done, which means we're about to get the game underway here between the Vipers and the Huskies. The starting goalies for the Huskies is Daniel Sturgeon making his third start of the year. He's been 2-0 to start off the season, looking very good. And on the other side, we got Ty Grant for the Sexsmith Vipers, who's been putting up a very, very good record. 3-2 and two with a very impressive save percentage and a goals against average to start the year. So the Huskies are going up against a very, very good goalie and probably one of the better goalies in the league as well next to Tyler MacArthur of the Fort St. John Huskies. So we're going to have a pretty entertaining game uh, going here so far as uh, the starting lineup here for the Vipers looks like Doyle's out there. Uh, West and Joakim as well there, the wingers there for the uh, Sexsmith Vipers as we're about to get underway here between the Huskies and the Vipers. Curtis Lee out there to take the draw here and a face-off win here for the Huskies as they do get under control of it. Curtis Lee sends it back to Brandon Moody. Over to Brownlee as he sends it up as they tip it into the zone. Katie Fournette going hard after the puck as um, he throws up the boards. Big hit there alongside of the boards. Nice hit there by number seven as he gets it over to Curtis Lee. The puck is loose as now they're transitioning the puck here as the Sexman's Vipers. Grant sends it into the corner. Joachim going hard after the puck in the corner, being pressured here by Moody. Moody trying to pull it out, and he does. Nice move there, getting out of the skates of Joachim as he's taking it up here for the Huskies. Lee has it now. Oh, nice shot there, right into the chest of Grant with a nice save there. And that is, excuse me, the first shot of the game there for the Huskies. And already a good start to the game here. As they'll be the face-off to the left of Grant. Nemo out there to take the draw. Face-off win here for the Vipers. As they have it in the corner, Collins sends it over to Leftley. As he tries to send it out. Not able to though, as Sounder, he has it. Being pressured up alongside of the boards there. Raymond Dick, who scored two big goals there for the Huskies, pressuring him up alongside of the boards. Conrad Reeves get, gets into the mix. He gets hauled down. Dick with a big hit there, as Johnson now. Raymond Dick, he's all over the place right now, causing some disturbance up in the corners. As a nice turnover there by Nemo, as he got a good chance off, but wasn't able to get the shot on the net. As now the Vipers carrying it up, nice pass, but just missed Johnson, and that will be icing there on the Vipers here. 18.35 left here in the first period. The first minute 30 is down here of the first period between the Vipers and the Huskies. The faceoff will be to the left again here of Grant. Nick Lowen out here to take the draw here for the Huskies. Faceoff win. Jade Evans has it now at the point. He takes it down, but kind of got hit off the puck, and now it's turned over. The Vipers trying to get out of their zone. Lefay battling there with Vens up alongside of the boards. Sonner sends it up. Johnson sends it into the zone. Leftly leaves a big hit there on Bateman. As now Grant will take a freeze there as uh, another stoppage of play here. As Bateman got rocked there by Leftly of the uh, Vipers there up against the boards there. As now the face off will be to the right here of Grant. Nick Lowen out there to take the draw. He was absolutely amazing in last night's game. Now up to the point, Brendan Moody makes a nice move alongside of the boards, keeps it in as well, blocks that clear attempt. Cole Cowan now tries to center it, but not able to. Now it gets sent up, but Brendan Moody, he has it, sends it up. Picked up here by Justin Brownlee, he sent it in. Now it's turnover once again here for the Vipers. They have it, trying to carry it into the zone is Magnuson. He chips it in as Cole Cowan sends it up. He had no room, they send it in. Is the Vipers in a nice little hit there on Jukes. And now Moody trying to carry it up, but loses control of the puck. And now good opportunity here by Magnuson. Sends it up to the point to Cousins. He lays a clap ball, nice shot there, but that misses wide. Now it's a battle up alongside of the boards. The Vipers keep it in. Bane hard after the puck there. Brownlee trying to get it out. It's still stuck in the corner, up to Dougal. Dougal sends it in. As the Vipers send it in deeper, Doucette sends it in deep. Nice tight shot there, and a good save there by Sturgeon. As uh, Magnuson took a sharp shot there on Sturgeon, he made a nice glove save there, as that will be his first stop of the game as well. 
as the faceoff will be to the right here of Sturgeon. Norton taking the draw here for the Vipers. Lee taking the draw here for the Huskies. They win it. And now Burgess. Remember, go check out the Fort St. John Huskies page. If Oscar Burgess gets a point here tonight, if you share that post on their Facebook page, you might be able to win a free Huskies game. So make sure to go check that out. I would be all over that as Oscar Burgess was dashing down there. Good opportunity as he is near the front of the net as he sends it up to the point. Nice shot there. Thomas Lowen, who got his first goal of the year for the Fort St. John Huskies and his first goal ever in the NWJHL as well. As Oscar Burgess being pressured, sends it up and that's turned over. Joachim sends it to the net and Sturgeon sticks it to the side. And now Kanan Fernet trying to gain some speed, gets blocked up by the ref there as he still gets a handle of it here. Nice chance, centers it to Lee. Good chance there and a block there by the Vipers. Now it's a battle as the Vipers trying to get it out of the zone, and they do. Joachim has it now. Nice shot there, and that was blocked there by Reed Bateman. Then sends it back over to Bateman, being pressured here by Doyle. Oh, and a big hit there by West, as the Huskies still trying to get it out of the zone. Venz picks it up now, trying to get it out, but Doyle pokes it off his stick. Bateman gets it back over, but that's turned over here by West, tries to center it. And that's a good defensive play there by Lee, the leading point getter here for the Huskies. As Doyle being pressured here hard, the Huskies causing a bit of a disturbance as Conrad Weeble over that puck. And Joakim, nice shot there, and that just misses wide. West in the corner, tries to shoot it towards the net. But that misses wide. Now Brownlee, Nathan Brownlee behind the net, carrying it up here for the Fort St. John Huskies. Brownlee, nice shot there, and that just misses wide. As Conrad Weeb sends it behind the net. Nice center there by Nemo, but just missed the pass. As now it's here in the neutral zone. Brownlee sets up Weeb again. Weeb over to Dick, back over to Weeb. He gets poked off the puck and hit up alongside of the boards, and now it's out again. Brownlee tries to send, he did get it over. Nice pass over to Moody. Over to Conrad Weeb, he's carrying it in here to the zone here for the Huskies. Tries to center it. Nice stick there by Grant. Big shot here from Booty. And now is a nice little save there by Grant. Now Cowan tries to center it. But now the Vipers, they send it down. And now it's a race for the puck. And Moody, he picks it up. But, ooh, he almost bobbled that one. And that would have went right into the hands there of the Vipers. As Johnson was all over him. There is Moody. Nice move here. Nice shot. But that misses wide. Cowan in the corner gets a nice hit on him. And now it's up to the point. Thomas Lowen. Tried to get in deep into the zone, but wasn't able to. He had a few attacking forwards there on him. Leftly, not able to keep a handle of his cousins. He has it now. As the Huskies, nice chance here. Nice shot, nice save there by Grant. Nice rebound there as well. As uh, Justin Brownlee, oh, and the puck goes into the back of the net. There we go there for the Fort St. John Huskies. And there we go. Uh, that was taught Nick Lowen with the goal there for the Fort St. John Huskies to get the Huskies up on the board. I was not able to get a good shot of that. I was looking down for the quick second and Nick Lowen put that one right in the back of the net there for the Fort St. John Huskies that put them up one to nothing. And that was a good start there for the Huskies. And now we're back in. Thomas Lowen tried to center it to Nick Lowen, but not able to. His Bane centers it there to Magnuson, but he wasn't able to get a good tip of it as the puck was bouncing all over the place. He sends it back over to Bane, up to the point to Dougal. Dougal tries to keep it in, and he does. Sends it back behind the net as Nick Lowen trying to get it out. Bane being pressured there by Lowen. Now it's chipped behind the net, and there will be a whistle blown here. Not too sure what it was. Oh, my bad, Raymond uh, Raymond Dick actually got the goal to start off the game. Raymond Dick with the first goal of the game, assisted by Nick Lowen. Face off here for the Huskies. As the Huskies look to advance it up, but that went off a ref. Jaden Venz gets it back over to Reed Bateman, tries to send it up, but not able to. 
Hard after the puck is the Vipers. Back behind the net, Benz. Oh, that center, but no one was home there for the Vipers as Dougal tries to send it in deep, but not able to. And now the Huskies have a good opportunity here. Caden Fernet, nice shot there, and a nice save there by Grant. As he swallowed that puck right on up here with 13.01 left. A nice chance there by Fernet, the captain of the Fort St. John Huskies. Face off here to the left of Grant. The fourth line out there now for the Huskies. Sambo being pressured here by Jaden Laverin. Nice shot there by Hartness, but that just missed the net wide. Nice pressured here by Laverin. As the, as the Vipers look to get it out, clap, carry it up here for the Vipers. Looks to set it in deep. He had a couple of tacket forwards on him. Bateman takes a hit there but a nice reverse hit as he was <laughs> prepared for that one as the Huskies send it up. Picked up here by Sounder. Being pressured here by Dawson Phillips. He caused a turnover. He gets leveled there by Clapp, and that one goes right out of play. 12-24 left here in the first period. A pretty entertaining period here between the Huskies and the Vipers. The Huskies, they look so good so far, honestly. They've played a pretty good period here uh, between the Huskies and the Vipers, uh, using their speed. Um, the Vipers using their physicality right now, and that's, I think, the biggest key to the victory is using that physicality, getting into those greasy zones, and getting it in front of that net. As Joachim Hart after Brownlee here, as Brownlee trying to take it up. As now Raymond Dick gets a handle of it, the, the, uh, the goal, guy who got the first goal of the game here for the Huskies, as Moody sends it up to Nemo. Nemo makes a nice move here. Nice shot there, and a nice save there by Grant as that one got tipped out of play. 12-0-2 left here in the first. A nice chance there by Nemo as uh, he made a nice little dash there. Dashed over to the right. Took a nice shot. Nice uh, stick save there by Grant. And another nice face-off win here by the Huskies. But that got turned over. Sage Joachim now with a good opportunity here. But a good poke there by Weeb. Now it centers the front of the net. But no one's home for the Vipers to get that one. As Weeb sends that one over to Moody. Moody being pressured here by two forwards. A nice little move there by Moody to uh, avoid a hit there. As West still going hard after Brownlee, but that's another turnover here for the Huskies. As it gets behind the net, the Huskies are trying to get it out. Weeb trips it up. Picked up here by Dick. He's taking it up now for the Huskies. Gets it over to Weeb. Nice shot there. Nice save there by Kyle. Big rebound. And that was not able to be put in the back of the net. Nemo, he has it alongside of the boards. Picked up here by Cousins. Trying to get it out of the zone, but he turns it over. Nemo again has it. Nice opportunity here. Goes around the net, into the corner, sends it up to Brandon Moody. Moody makes a nice move once again. Oh, great rebound and right into the back of the net. Raymond Dick with another goal once again here for the Fort St. John Huskies. He has been absolutely stellar to get the season off. And that's the second goal of the night. Two games in a row for this man who's put up two multi-goal nights. Absolutely amazing as he jumps on the big juicy rebound there for the Fort St. John Huskies to already put the Huskies up two to nothing. What a start here for the Fort St. John Huskies. Oh my Lord, this is an amazing start once again for the Huskies. If you're a Huskies fan, you're absolutely enjoying this start here for the Huskies. They are looking amazing to get this game started off as Johnson being pressured here once again as that one's offside there on the Vipers. Oh, is there a penalty as well? Nick Lowen going to the box here for the Huskies. Two minutes for slashing, I think it is. Yeah, two minutes for slashing there for Nick Lowen. So the Vipers will be going on the power play. Good opportunity for them to kind of get, you know, this game back under control for them. You know, they let it out of control a little bit to start this first half of the period off nine to two for shots for the Huskies so this is a good oh, excuse me a good opportunity here for the Vipers to kind of get themselves back into the game here as uh, number 12 of the Huskies trying to get that one out Oscar Burgess but another penalty here holding here is the Vipers going to the box now yes Magnuson is going to the box now for the uh, Sexsmith Vipers two minutes for holding and we're going to be going back to four on four so a great opportunity for the Vipers has now kind of uh, gone away 
uh, basically with a rough penalty there by Magnuson as he'll be going to the box for two minutes for holding. And the faceoff will be to the left here of Ty Grant, courtesy taking the draw here and a faceoff win here by the Huskies. Chase London sends it up to the point. He gets it back, back over to Thomas Lowen. Now over to Lee. Lee uh, makes a nice move there by Lee, tries to center it, but not able to. He was absolutely addressing the defenseman there of the Vipers, and now it's in the corner. Chase Leonard being pressured, he gets shoved up against the boards, and now the Vipers, Tristan Bain, he's carried into the zone, he gets leveled there, big hit there by Thomas Lowen, as now a stop behind the net here by Daniel Sturgeon, picked up here by Burgess, carried up here for the Huskies. Picked up here by Curtis Lee. He <laughs> avoids a little bit of a check there. Nice little reverse hit as now Lowen, he may he circles back. Gets it over to Jaden Venz. Venz tries to chip it up but not able to. He chips it back. And now Nemo passes it back over to Venz. Venz back over to Thomas Lowen. Lowen looking to carry it up here for the Huskies. He chips up the boards. That's all the way down the ice, no icing. Picked up here by Collins behind the net. As he goes around, picked up here by Doyle. Doyle sends it back. And now Collins sends it all the way up. Doyle sends it up to West. West going hard out to the puck. Nice little rub out there by Bateman. Oh, good chance here by Doyle. He centers it to West. Nice opportunity. That wings right off the post there. There's a little bit of a tangle up there as a oh, little bit of pushing and shoving there by West as Jaden Vans going to the box for cross-checking after West takes another shot after him right afterwards. So Jaden Vans is going to the box here. Two minutes for cross-checking from what it looks like, and yes, it will be. So now it'll be a four-on-three for the next five minutes, four-on-four for the next few seconds and in a power play there for the Vipers. So good opportunity here for the Vipers to kind of come back in this, but rough penalty there for the Fort J. John Huskies as Fernet out there to take the draw as a face-off win here for the Huskies. And they chip it down. Four on four for the next 13 seconds as Cousins sends it over. As now they look to send it, try to get it over to Bain, but that will be icing on the play. Four seconds left, a four on four, and then we're heading off to a five on four power play here for the Vipers. A Little bit of uh, penalty uh, troublemaking here <laughs> uh, near the uh, tail end of the, uh, or I guess halfway through the first, we're starting to see some penalty troubles here between the Huskies and the Vipers. But we know from the Huskies last game is that the Huskies are very, very good on their PK. And not just that on their power play. They've been very, very good on their special teams so far this year. And we've seen that in the last game where they killed off every single penalty that they took in last night's game. And were really good on the power play as well. So we'll have to see how well they kill off these next minute 20 that is remaining here on the power play here for the Vipers. As they send it into the zone, as Moody sends that all the way down the ice once again, killing off another 20 seconds here for the Huskies. The Vipers trying to get things under control right now as Cousins. He grabs it here for the Vipers. Sends over to Magnuson as he's carrying it into the zone. Evades two hits as he tries to chip it in. As once again, the Huskies get that one all the way down the ice. And not able to get control of his Fernet hard after the puck. Here is he's making Cousins <laughs> causing some trouble there as he gets it all the way back, killing some more time here for the Huskies as Fernet sends it all the way down the ice once again, and he goes for a change. That was a beautiful ship, ship there from Caden Fernet, as uh, that was beautiful. A, a nice little play out beating Cousins to that puck and killing a little bit more time off on this power play as Joachim sends it over, picked up here by Doyle. Doyle gets it over to Joachim. Nice shot there and a nice save there by Daniel Sturgeon as he swallows that puck right on up and a nice save there. 7-16 left here. That was a nice shot there by Joachim as uh, they need to start getting some offense going here for the Vipers. We haven't seen a whole lot there. Uh, and, uh, this is a huge chance for them to get a little bit of momentum back underneath of them as Joachim sends it behind the net. That'll be picked up here by the Huskies as um, Brownlee 
pushing up against the boards, looking to burn some more time here on their penalty kill. And now Moody being pressured here. He evades a nice check there with a nice toe, toe drag as the Huskies kill off the penalty. Jaden Vans comes right out of the box. And Doyle tried to kick it right to the front of the net, but not able to as they try to get it out. No, the Vipers keep it into the zone here. And now it'll be picked up here by Brownlee. As he's being pressured there by Wes Collins. Nice shot there, blocked there by Lowen. Now it's in front of the net, Daniel Surgeon will take the stoppage of play there with a nice stoppage of play. As a good stop there by Daniel Surgeon as he picked it up with his uh, blocker to get the stop there for the Fort St. John Huskies. Face off to the right here of Surgeon. Norton out there to take the draw here for the Vipers. Curtis Lee out here to take the draw for the Huskies. Face off win here for the Fort St. John Huskies. And now Burgess getting pressured here. He sends it back, but not able to be picked up by his defensive partner. As now it gets up to the point, but good pressure there by uh, Chase London as Curtis Lee dashing in, gets through the defenseman, but loses control of the puck. Fernet gets it over to London. Nice shot there, but that was blocked. And now that'll be picked up here by Thomas Lowen. Lowen's down to Curtis Lee. Curtis Lee sends it in, picked up here by Chase London behind the net, being pressured here by Dougal. And now it's now picked up here by Fernet. Caden Fernet looking around, sends it up to the point to uh, Burgess. Burgess over to Thomas Lowen. And now that's up to the point. Chase London keeps it into the zone here. Curtis Lee wasn't able to get a good handle of it. Now they'll be picked up here by London in the Husky zone. Tries to get it out, but Norton intercepts that one, sends it in deep here for the, or for the Vipers. That'll be behind the net here by Burgess. Also, reminder, ladies and gentlemen, make sure to go check out the Fort St. John Huskies page. Oscar Burgess is the player of the game for this one. And uh, if he scores a point, you have a possibility of winning a ticket to a Huskies game and what a hit there. But uh, all you have to do is share and like the post on the Fort St. John Huskies page and you've had a chance to come see some great action here at the Fort St. John Huskies arena. We got some great action going here between the Vipers and Huskies as we've seen a big hit there by Thomas Lowen who got his first goal of the game yesterday and uh, is looking to produce a big hit and some more offense here tonight as uh, another good evasion of a hit there as Jukes sends it up. Johnson sends it deep into the zone here for the uh, Vipers. Bateman sends it up here. Weeb sends up to Dick, but that got turned over. As Colin Sounder, ooh, Sounder almost got leveled there with a big hit. As his stick goes absolutely flying up in the air. 4.39 left here in the first period. Like I've been saying, it's been a very entertaining first period so far. Bain taking the draw there against Nemo. Face-off win here for the Huskies. Bateman, he has it, sends it over to his defensive partner as they send it in deep. Oh, good chance here by Weeb. Back and forehand, and he throws that one right into the back of the net. What a beautiful goal there by Conrad Weeb as he went forehand, backhand, right through the five hole there for the Fort St. John Huskies, throwing them up three to nothing there. And what a chance and what a goal there by the Huskies. Throwing them up three to nothing. 426 left here for the Huskies. They are looking fantastic to start this game off once again. Three to nothing here for the Huskies. As Laverne taking the face off here against Doyle. Face off win here for the Vipers as Joachim. Nice shot there, but a nice block there by Moody. Picked up here by Harness up alongside of the boards. He sends it over to Moody. Moody avoids a check. Brownlee sends it up. Nice move there by Moody. Dawson Phillips sends it. Nice shot there. Nice save there by Grant. And that goes out of play. 10 to 2 for shots so far here by the Fort St. John Huskies. Nice goal there by Conrad Weep. Raymond Dick with the assistant and Jaden Veens also with the assist as well on that goal by Conrad Weeb as Jukes tries to send it out of the zone but the Huskies keep it in. Moody, he has it up alongside of the boards right in the blue line. Nice shot there by Brownlee. 
And now a nice move here by Phillips as Phillips tries to center it there. But now it gets back up to the point to Brownlee. Brownlee down below. Keaton Hartness getting a handle of it, being pressured here by Cousins. Riley, Riley Norton getting in there as well as they, they make it loose. As Norton trying to get it up here for the Vipers. Cousins sends over to Juice, but he wasn't able to get a handle of it. Sambo sends it out of the zone here for the Hus or for the Vipers. That will be not icing. There is Moody. He picks it up as Clap goes hard after him. The one big thing that I've been seeing here for the Vipers is they are playing a very, very physical game, but they're missing a lot of their hits, and I think that's a big key. Yes, you can hit a lot, but you've got to be successful with those hits as well. You can't just be throwing them out randomly. And I think that's the biggest thing here for the Vipers is that they're going after a lot of hits, but they're not, you know, getting successful hits, if you get what I mean. If you're watching the game, you're seeing a lot of missed hits here by the Vipers. And they're not connecting a lot with these hits as well. It seems like the Huskies are using their speed and their agile and their smart movements to get the puck and move that puck very nicely before they get hit or make it a nice move before they get smacked as well. There's a nice move here and a big hit there on the, by the Vipers on Raymond Dick as he gets a level there as for net or Nick Lowen. I mean, he has it alongside of the court boner as now sends it up to the point of Thomas Lowen. Lowen tries to get the shot off. He almost turns that one over and now LeFay going hard after the puck. This is all alongside of the boards. LeFay, nice shot there. Nice save there by Sturgeon. Nice move here by Burgess as he's being pressured here. He sends it back over to Thomas Lowen. Lowen sends it back over to Burgess. Burgess back over to Lowen behind the net. And now Lowen looking to advance the puck. He sends it up to Justin Brownlee. Over to Nick Lowen. Nick Lowen with a nice strong shot there and a nice glove save there by Grant. Here with a minute 59 left here in the first period. So far looking like a very entertaining period here between the Huskies and the Vipers. Back and forth, well, I mean, for the Huskies, it's been a very dominant first period, to say the least. They've been using that speed that we all know that was the key to success in the last game between uh, the, the Flyers and the Huskies was that they used their speed a lot throughout the game last time, and it seems like they're just looking good again as Vance turned out one over to Magnuson. Magnuson, good shot there, but Vance recovers greatly as he gets right back in the mix there to cause a turnover. And now the Huskies send that one up, tried to get it over to Fournette, but he wasn't able to. As they break it into the zone here, Chase London in the corner. Curtis Lee alongside of the corner, being battled there with two other Vipers. Nice hit there alongside of the boards there by London. And now the Vipers looking to advance the puck bay, not able to get a handle of it. Doucette. Oh, good chance here by Magnuson. Nice shot there and a blocker saved there by Sturgeon. Now Bain keeps it into the zone. Nice shot there and that misses wide there by Bain. Doucette picks it up here in the corner. Nice shot there. Good chance there. And the Vipers put up the first goal of the game there as uh, Tristan Bain gets the first goal of the game there for the Sexsmith Vipers. And now it is three to one with 56.3 seconds left here for the Vipers as Tristan Bain gets the first goal of the game here for the Vipers. And uh, finally, they get something on the board as they, they got in that greasy area. And that's the biggest thing here for the Vipers is that they are looking like a very, very physical team. And, and that's what they need to do. Get in those greasy spots, get in front of that net. And that's what Tristan Bain did there. Put it right through the five hole there on Daniel Sturgeon as Weep look as a bounce right back here for the Huskies. Nice chance there and a nice save there by Grant. 12 to six for shots here for the Huskies. Conrad Weep looking to bounce right back here for the Huskies. And I gotta say, that's like the greatest quality so far of the Huskies that I've seen is that their bounce back ability. You know, every time that they get a goal against them, they seem to just bounce right back and score another big one. As Moody being pressured here by Joachim as he gets leveled up alongside of the board. Good opportunity here as West tries to get it on front of the net but not able to. Brownlee makes a nice move but Doyle tries to get it in front of the net there but now it's turned over. Husky sent it in deep. Picked up here by Weeb. He avoids the hit there by Jukes. Jukes gets a handle of it now. He sends it up. 
as Dick sends it in. Weeb picks it up now. Weeb sends it up to the point to Moody. Moody evades the hit there of Joachim. Seven seconds left here in the first period as that is all the way down the ice. And that will be it for the first period here between the Fort St. John Huskies and the Sexsmith Vipers. It's three to one. So far it has been an amazing game here between the Huskies and Vipers. I hope you guys enjoy. I'm gonna take a quick little break, but before I do, make sure to go check out the Fort St. John Huskies pages right now. They're gonna be having the pink jersey, uh, you know, donation drive starting tomorrow. So make sure to go check out the Facebook page. They're gonna be having a bid starting tomorrow and that will go all the way up until Friday where they go up against the Grand Prairie Kings. Also, they got a player of the game contest going right now as Oscar Burgess is your player of the game. So make sure to go and check out the Fort St. John Huskies page. Share and like that. And you have a possibility of getting into a free Huskies game. So make sure to go check that out. But I'll see you guys after the intermission and uh, I can't wait for the second period. See you guys in a bit.
Welcome back here for the second period here between the Fort St. John Huskies and the uh, Sexsmith Vipers. I hope you guys had a good uh, intermission break. I had a little bit of bite to eat here at the concession stand here at the arena, and I got to say, mm, their French fries are mint. A a and if you haven't came down and had, you know, watched the game and had some food, I miss this, honestly. This is, like, the biggest thing I miss was going to a hockey game, you know, having a slab of pizza or, you know, having some French fries at the concession stand. It, it just brings back so many memories, and I I'm happy to be living it right now, having some French fries, watching a great game here between the Fort St. John Huskies and the Six Minutes Vipers. And I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. We had a very entertaining first period. Excuse me. Very, very entertaining first period here between the two teams. Um, both of them, you know, going back and forth. The Huskies really dominating right off the get-go. Uh, got the three first goals. Lowen with the first one. Raymond Dick with the second one. And then Conrad Weeb with the third goal of the game. Excuse me, my lord. Hiccuping left and right as Raymond Dick just has been absolutely amazing over the past two games. All right, He's been absolutely amazing. He had a goal and an assist. I thought he did get two goals to start off the game, but that was incorrect. Dick with the second goal of the game. Conrad Weeb with the third goal uh, for the uh, for the Fort St. John Huskies. And then Tristan Bain uh, put the uh, <coughs> Sexman uh, Vipers up on the board. Uh, so we're about to get the period underway here between the Fort St. John Huskies and the Sex Smith Vipers. And I hope you guys are excited as I am because this is going to be a super, super entertaining second period. Especially since this game is so tight right now. It's only 3-1. to one. Two goal lead for the Fort St. John Huskies. It's a good opportunity for the Vipers to get back into this game. I just had to enjoy one more fry before we get going here in this second period here because... I'm definitely not going to be able to eat too, too much more. So I hope you guys pulled out something to eat because I'm probably making you guys hungry right now. So I hope you guys have, you know, a bowl of chips or something like that because this is going to be a very entertaining second period. So let's get right into this. Curtis Lee taking the draw here for the Fort St. John Huskies. And uh, Tristan Bain taking the face off there for the Flyers. It's, here we are at the start off to the second period. As right off the get-go is for Net rides one of the Vipers players hard into the boards as he kind of fell beforehand. As now the Chase London sent it in deep here for the Huskies. Fernet hard after the puck. Ballon there behind the net. As Grant tries to get it out, but the Huskies do get, get, gain control of it. As nice hit there by the Vipers. As the Huskies do keep it into the zone. Nice chance there by Moody, but he fanned on it. Another great opportunity there once again by Moody. Now it's up at the point. Chase London keeps it into the zone, or tries to. And now the Vipers, they have it now. Magnuson going hard after the puck. But Brownlee, he takes it. Doucette tries to get into the zone, but that will be offside there on the Vipers. As the faceoff will just be right outside the zone of the Huskies. Faceoff here, Nemo taking the draw, and a uh, faceoff win by the Vipers as the Vipers send in deep. Surgeons keeping it behind the net there for Lowen. Lowen, oh, that almost got turned over there as well by Burgess. And it did, good chance there by the Vipers, but a good block there by Thomas Lowen. Great recovery here for the Fort St. John Huskies. Oh, what a huge hit! Oh, and a little bit of pushing and shoving down below. As a big hit there by uh, Nemo. As a huge hit there on Souter up alongside of the boards. Nemo going to the box. And, uh, and Leftley going to the box after uh, throwing a few punches on Nemo as, uh, wow. As uh, the ref just pulling people apart now, figuring out who to throw in the box. Just trying to hear what's going on right now. Not too sure exactly what's going on right now and what the penalties are to be exact as there is another player going to the box here for the Vipers as Doyle is going to the box here. So it looks like there might only be one player in the box here. 
as uh, the ref going over and talking with the coaches there. As it was a massive hit there by Nemo. It really was up alongside of the boards. It was a massive hit. And it looks like it's gonna be four on three. Oh no. No, no, five on five action here as it's just all coincidental penalties here. No one's actually going on the power play here. Just coincidental penalties here for both teams. So uh, Jaden Vance gets laid out of the corner there. There's a big hit there by West as he picks it up now, sends it up. Picked up here by Doyle. Puts, uh, poked over to Joachim. Nice shot there and a nice glove save there by Sturgeon. That's a, to pick this uh, second period up, we're already seeing a bit of physicality here between um, the Vipers and the Huskies, especially that huge hit there by Nemo. Kind of stirred things up here between the Vipers and the Huskies. And now face-off win here for the Huskies. As Vance tries to send it up and not able to, the Vipers keep it in. Doyle tries to center it. Ooh, good chance here by Joachim, and he puts that one right in the back of the net. Sage Joachim puts that one in the back of the net for the Vipers as the Vipers go up, or I mean the Huskies are still up three to two, but the lead has been cut down by one. Three to two for the Huskies still, but that lead has been cut short as uh, the Vipers look like they have a little juice in their step right now to get this second period off. They're looking a lot better than what they were in that first period. Face-off win here for the Huskies as that swans all the way down the ice and I'll be picked up here by Moody behind the net. Being pressured, he was able to keep a handle of a good chance there for the Vipers, but the Huskies recover. And now Cole Cowan, he sent it into the zone here for the Huskies. Grant sends it out. And now it's behind the net. Oh, and that's just evaded a hit there by Raymond Dick, or I mean Justin Brownlee. And now it's a battle up alongside of the corner there. Cole Cowan pulls it out, sets it up to the point to Nathan Brownlee. Nice shot there, it's loose, right in front of the net. Great chance there by Cole Cowan. Great save there by Grant. What an opportunity there for the Huskies as they send it back in deep, or try to. And now Nathan Brownlee gets it over to Nick Lowen as he sends it in as the Huskies go for a little bit of a line change. And now the Vipers trying to get it out. Yeah, Keaton Hartness all over one of the Vipers players as Doucette sends it up to Bain. Bain, great breakaway here for Magnuson. Nice shot, great save there by Sturgeon. I am off my seat to get this second period started. My Lord, what an entertaining start to this game as it'll be picked up here by Grant. And now, up alongside of the boards as they send it up, Johnson, he has it. As now that's sent all the way down the ice, and that will be picked up here by one, uh, oh, Thomas Lowen actually got a handle of it, it's being battled up alongside of the boards. Oscar Burgess sends it up. He, they chip it out of the zone, and yes, they do. Keaton Hartness hard after the puck. Keaton Hartness, he has a breakaway. Great chance, great save there by Grant of the Vipers. As what an opportunity there by Keaton Hartness. And then Phillips pushes down one of the Vipers players. And like I said, man, I am off my seat to start this second period off. Uh, what, did, what did I say? I said to grab some popcorn, grab some fries, whatever you got for some snacky food. We're in for a ride here in the second period as a face-off win here for the Huskies. That just missed wide. And now that we picked up by Bateman, he sends it back behind the net. Cousins, he's trying to get it up, a turnover here by Fernet. Fernet, a great two-way player here for the Huskies. He's been looking amazing here tonight. Picked up here by London, but runs into his own teammate. Sambo sends it out of the zone here for the Vipers. Nice little hit there by London as they try to get it in. Picked up here by Fernet. Fernet being attacked. Nice, nice defensive play there by the Vipers. And there will be a penalty on the call, I think, as well here for the Vipers. Nice shot, but that just misses the net. Now Curtis Lee makes a nice little move and jukes. And uh, a little bit of a late shove there on Lee afterwards. As uh, the Vipers will be going to the box here. I think it's for hooking as uh, I think that's Sage Joachim there. Number 30, yeah, two minutes for hooking there. I think that's Sage Joachim there for the uh, 
the Vipers. He will be going to the box here. Let me just double check the number. Oh, no, it's actually Cousins who will be going to the box there for the Vipers. My bad. As the Huskies are on the power play now, this is a good opportunity to get themselves kind of back in the game here after two goals in, uh, in a row for the Vipers. The Huskies looking to gain back a little bit of momentum themselves as we sends a raid up. Nemo, great chance here, and Grant will take the stop there as uh, a couple great opportunities there uh, for the Fort St. John Huskies to, to put up a nice little goal there. As the faceoff will be to the left here, Grant. Nemo, faceoff win. Up to the point. Now Nathan Brownlee sends it over to Raymond Dick in the corner, but didn't really connect on the pass very well. Now Nathan Brownlee, and that gets out. Now it's a race for the puck. West is hard after Brownlee. Up to Conrad Weeb. Weeb sends it over to Nemo. Nemo, he has some speed up alongside of the boards. He gets poked off the puck, but Dick gets over to Weeb. Weeb makes a nice little move there. It gets up to the point to Nathan Brownlee. Back over to Weeb, back over to Brownlee. Brownlee over to Raymond Dick. He has it now up alongside of the boards. Over to Weeb, great chance there. That got blocked. And Weeb tried to get it over to Nemo, but not able to. And now there's a good chance here by Magnuson. But he gets poked off the puck there by Brownlee. He sends a great opportunity here by the captain for Nep, but that's offside. No. Oh. Offside here by the Huskies. I don't know if that was exactly offside there, but it is going all the way down the ice there to the right of um, Sturgeon here, or to the left, I mean, of Sturgeon. As Norton will be going up against Fernet and a face-off win here for the Huskies. Norton looking to get it out. As they try to poke it out, but not able to. And that'll be picked up here by Moody. Moody makes a nice little move there as he's trying to generate some momentum looking for an open man. Moody carrying it up here for the Huskies, sends it up to Lee. Lee makes a nice move there on Souter. Sends it over to uh, Nick Lowen, but wasn't able to get a handle of it. Moody gets a, stops it up at the point. And now London, London back over to Moody. Moody. Down to nice chance. I think that was Curtis Lee. Learns Lee. Tucks that one right to the back of the net. What a goal as he got it around Ty Grant and tucks that one right into the back of the net there for the Huskies as the Huskies take that two goal lead right back as they go up four to two. Curtis Lee with a gorgeous goal using those gorgeous hands of his and puts that one right on the back of the net. Gorgeous goal there for the Huskies as they take a two goal lead and that was a power play goal as well. And see what I mean? These special teams for the Huskies is such a deadly thing this year. They've been great on the power play and on the PK and uh, that just showcased it right there on how deadly they can be. They got two great units that play absolutely phenomenal. Whether you got, you know, the, the lead unit out there or whether you got Nemo out there for the Fort St. John Huskies, they just got so many weapons out there. Uh, across their entire repertoire. And now uh, there was a little bit of icing there and there'll be a face-off to the left here of Sturgeon. Face-off win here for the Huskies. Burgess, he has it along, uh, behind the net. Looking to break it out here for the Huskies. He sends it back over to Thomas Lowen. Now Keaton Hartness looking to advance it. A little bit of a lay hit there by Lefay. And now, foul there, up alongside. Don't, chips it into the corner. Now that's behind the net. Keaton Hartness gets rubbed out hard up against the boards. That was a little bit of a lay hit. Now we got some pushing and shoving here as uh, Jukes in number 24, Laverin, going hard after his Jukes has a has a, a little bit of a um, chokehold, a little bit of a, I can't even, why can't I not find the word? A little bit of a, a strangle hold of him there. Headlock. As uh, Hartness is getting up slow there, Laverin and Jukes talking back and forth with each other there is uh, going to the box now. Thomas Lowen going off. He's looking all right, a little bit of beaten up, but he's looking all right as he took a rough hit into the boards there. Don't know exactly what the calls will be. It looks like they're incident uh, coincidental.
I'm not really able to hear what's going on exactly, but I am going to take a quick uh, French fry break. As we wait to hear what's going to be going on. I think there was already a boarding penalty that was going to happen. I think the ref's giving him a little bit of a warning to, you know, not hit like that really. But there will be a power play here for the Huskies. So that hit for boarding was uh, still called. They still have a two minute power play here for the Fort St. John Huskies. So I'm guessing it's two minutes for boarding is what I'm guessing the call will be. Because it is a good opportunity here by the uh, Huskies to get another power play opportunity here. After a big hit there by number 10 there of the uh, the, uh, the the Vipers is Magnuson. He's carrying it up now, makes a nice move, but a good defensive play there by number six of the Huskies, Conrad Weave, as he sends it up as the Huskies look to break it out. Picked up here by Brownlee. Brownlee carrying it into the zone here for the Huskies. Huskies sends it up, and now it's a good chance here by Magnuson. He has a little bit of a breakaway. Nice snapshot there. Nice save there by Sturgeon as he makes a nice glove save there. Uh, just to quickly check who's taking that penalty there as Doyle has gone to the box. Two minutes for boarding there on that big hit there on Lowen. And I don't think I see Thomas Lowen out on the bench from what I see. Oh, no, he is. No. I don't see Thomas Lowen out of the bench. I think he did leave a little bit to go get some work on. But I will let you guys know once I see him back out on the ice as Nick Lowen has a big hit there by Clapp as they run into each other. And that one's sent all the way down the box as we're getting into a little bit of a physical second period here as uh, number 27 being Curtis Lee being battled up alongside of the boards. Moody, he circles back on the left side, carrying it up here for the Huskies. He curls back, looking for an open man. Sends it over to Lee. Lee sends it up to the point to Nick Lowen. Lowen down to Lee. Lee looking around here for the Huskies, over to Moody. Moody back over to London, gets it over to Lee, but he's being pressured here by Clapp. Now to be picked up here by Moody again. Moody making some nice moves, being pressured here hard by Clapp. Now picked up here by number 15, sends it over to Moody. Moody carrying it up here for the Huskies, sends it over to Lee. As Lee still has it, makes a nice little move there. Breaking the ankles of number three of the Vipers. And another hit there by the Huskies. As we're getting a little bit of a physical third period here between both teams as Lee uh, skating the blue line. Sends it over to number seven of the Huskies, Ch Chase London. London looking around. Sends it over, Doyle gets back in the play here as he gets picked up now. Big hit there on Doyle as London lays a hit there and now they send it back into the zone. The Huskies go for a line change and the Vipers look to go on the attack. Another big hit there once again by London there on Sambo. And uh, another hit there which looks like there will be a penalty on the call for Keaton Hartness. As Keaton Hartness is going to the box there, I don't exactly see what exactly happened there. But Hartness is going to the box here. Oh, four minute penalty here for Neen there by Keaton Hartness as he's gonna be going to the box for the next four minutes. Big opportunity here for the, uh, the Sexsmith Vipers. Face off win here for the Huskies as they have to kill off the next four minutes here. Doucette trying to get something going but not able to is now the Huskies. Fournette carrying it up here for the Huskies as he's just been a great penalty killing guy here for the Fort St. John Huskies this year. And now Joachim sends it up. Not able to connect on the pass to Bain. And that'll be picked up here by Bateman in the corner as he's being pressured here hard. Bain sends it up to the point to Joachim. Nice shot here. I mean that was Cousins I meant, my bad. As that was one sent all the way down the ice. Now will be picked up and that will be high sticking there on the Vipers.
as it looks like the face-off will be to the right of Grant here. Doyle out here to take the draw here for the Husky or for the Vipers. Grant makes a nice little move. Sends it over to Johnson. Johnson carried up here for the Vipers through the neutral zone. West sends it in. But the Huskies send that one all the way down the ice, already killing a minute of this four minute power play here for the Vipers. As Cousins resets. Carrying it up here for the Vipers. Sends it over to Doyle. Doyle carrying it up. Nice little hit there by Thomas Lowen as he is back out there. Thomas Lowen looking great right now out there. Joachim, he has it, trying to settle down the play here for the Vipers. Leaves it there for Collins. Collins carrying it up here for the Vipers. Gaining some speed here through the neutral zone. Sends it into the corner. Picked up here by Thomas Lowen behind the net. As now the Huskies send that one all the way down the ice once again here as they just have an elite, elite penalty kill here for the Fort St. John Huskies that have just been looking phenomenal. Just the way that they play. One guy up high, three guys back. You can kind of see the formation forming as that, you know, they make sure that you don't got a guy going through the boards and you can see just so once again Oscar uh, um, Berg is able to send that one down actually no that was uh, number 23 there Brennan Moody able to send that one down my bad but you can see by the formation they got three defensemen basically one forward acting as a defenseman all three of them in a correct line so even if you dash down the wing as you're going to see here once again Brandon Moody he can collapse right in on Magnuson keeping him up against the boards making sure nothing really happens and then one guy playing high pressuring like what Fernet has been doing. Uh, and it's just really working really well with the kind of the formation that they got here right now. Not allowing anything to happen. Not allowing any momentum to gain. And, and I'm honestly really liking this PK so far here by the Fort St. John Huskies. Great game plan here by the head coach here. Has a great chance here by Magnuson. Sends it down deep to Bain. Bain makes it a nice move. And then, yeah, they go right into that, that, that box, basically, is what, you know, most people do on, on a penalty kill is that box formation. But then they kind of go into a T formation when the opposition is trying to break into the zone. And honestly, I quite like what they do here on the PK as Joachim keeps it into the zone here. Nice slap shot there from the point, and Sturgeon makes a nice save there for the, uh, for the Huskies. But like I was saying, this, this this formation that they got going on this power play seems, or this PK, seems to really work well here for the Huskies. And it's looking quite well here with 7.58 left. And they already got 47 seconds left here on the PK. And they're almost done killing it off already. As Jane Venn's being pressured here hard up against the boards. Bateman trying to get it out. Still battling. Venn's trying to dig it out here. Now it's up alongside of the boards. As the Vipers still have a handle of it, Grant gets it now up at the point. Sends it down to Doyle. Doyle tries to send it back up the point. Nice defensive play there by Cole Cowan. 18 seconds left here on the power play. Doyle looking for an open man. Sends it down alongside of the boards to Johnson. Johnson being picked off there by Bateman. Bateman gets it up to Grant. Grant down below once again as now West sends it behind the net to Johnson. Over to West, nice shot there, but that got blocked. Grant and uh, number two, Keaton Hartness jumps right into the box. Great opportunity here as he gets bumped off the puck. He is just looking like a mad dog tonight, Keaton Hartness. He's been all over the place here for the Fort St. John Huskies. Looking absolutely amazing, laying some physical hits, playing very physically, and uh, good little shift there coming out of the box. Now it's behind the net here. Huskies trying to get it out as they keep it into the zone. Oh, Thomas Lowen getting attacked there. Nice little hit up alongside of the boards. Now Burgess, oh, a little bit of a scuffle here as uh, Fernet and another player of the Vipers getting into it west. As Katie Fernet and West getting into a little bit of a mix up there as Fernet going to the box here. Is he the only guy that's going to the box here? Oh no, Fernet and West both going to the box here. 
So one player going for interference, one player going for holding. As both go into the box, it looks like it will be four on four from what it seems like. Yeah, no, it is still five on five hockey, just incidental penalties. As a face off win here for the Huskies. Thomas Lowen sends it over to Burgess. Burgess up alongside of the boards. Thomas Lowen makes a nice little move there. Now it's sent behind the net, and that will be picked up here by Sambo, being pressured alongside of the boards by Burgess. Burgess sends it out. Now Curtis Lee. He's carried up through the neutral zone here for the Huskies. Going to the left side of the boards here. Nice chance. Oh, the wrong wheel at the post. Dawson Phillips with a great opportunity there for the Huskies. And that one got sent out of play. Great little chance there by the Huskies. Also, guys, if you haven't already, make sure to go check out the Facebook page as well. Uh, they got some great stuff going on there right now. Uh, if Oscar Burgess scores a or point in this game, uh, he's the basically the player of the game. And basically, if he scores any point tonight, uh, if you you know share and like the post, you'll be entered into a draw to win a Fort St. John Huskies ticket and get a free game. That's amazing, am I right? A free game? Go to the Fort St. John Huskies page, check it out. There's a lot of great stuff up on there. I would definitely go check it out as Moody making some nice moves there as Conrad Weeb sends it up. And now the Huskies looking to break it in as gets it over to Conrad Weeb and that gets out of the zone. Now a good chance here by Magnuson once again as he's looking to break it into the zone here as tries to center it and Sturgeon will make a stoppage of play there for the Huskies. Also on the Facebook page as well, one last note on that. Um, they're going to be auctioning off their pink jerseys starting Sunday, October 24th, which is tomorrow on Facebook. So make sure to go check out the Facebook page if you're interested in winning or getting, uh, maybe winning or not winning, uh, but bidding on a pink jersey. Uh, they look absolutely amazing. I would definitely go to check it out. And all the bids uh, will go towards the uh, FSJ Hospital Foundation and also towards some new uh, jerseys as well for the pink jerseys. So I would definitely go check that out. This will go all the way up until Friday, October 29th. Um, people could bid all nine, and you could bid in person when the game happens on Friday against the Grand Prairie Kings, so I would definitely go and check that out. All the proceeds will go towards a purchase of a new set of pink jerseys, and the additional prof profits will go and be donated to the FSJ Hospital Foundation. So make sure to go check that out on the Fort St. John Huskies page on Facebook. So, we're getting back on the action here as Jaden Vent, or uh, Brownlee makes a nice move here for the Huskies. Up at the point, Moody back down. As there is a power play here, there's a nice chance here by the point there. As uh, I didn't really see what exactly happened there, but there is a power play here for the Fort St. John Huskies. And number 19 of the, uh, uh, of, or no, number 49 of the Vipers is going to the box leftly. Uh, going to the box for the next two minutes. So a good opportunity here by the Huskies. As London sends it up. Oh, that one's sent out of play. Face off here. Face off win here by Lowen as the Huskies chips it up. Picked up here by Moody. Moody leaves it there for London. London makes a nice little move, trying to get it deep. Moody gets it now, nice little backhand, nice little save there by Graham. And now Brownlee, he has it up at the point. Or I mean the I meant. And now Moody over to London. London. As now Brandon Moody sends it down to Lee. Lee circles, nice shot there, nice save there by Grant. And Lee breaks his stick as Moody he has it up alongside of the point. Circling, looking for an open man, Nemo. Nice shot there, and Alex Nemo with a beautiful snipe. Puts that one to the back of the net, and the Huskies uh, put their lead back up by three goals as they go up five to two. Nemo with a gorgeous goal there for the Fort St. John Huskies. 
Curtis Lee breaks his stick. He goes for a line change. Nemo jumps right on out. Receives a great pass there by Moody. And he just rips one right, right past Ty Grant for a beautiful goal there for the Fort St. John Huskies. And that was an amazing goal here. 3.47 left here in the second period. It's been an entertaining second period so far as, uh, oh, absolutely entertaining. And it's Lawin, he has it, carrying it up here for the Huskies. Circles back. Sends it over to Burgess. Burgess behind the net, looking to break it out here for the Huskies. Sends it up, Austin Phillips wasn't able to get a handle of it, and that will be icing. As the faceoff will be to the right here of, um, uh, blanking on his name. <laughs> faceoff win here for the Huskies. Nice shot there, nice save there by Sturgeon. Finally, I found his name somewhere in my brain. As Lowen. Nice little hit there alongside of the boards as Lawin sends it up here to Dawson Phillips. Phillips sends it in deep. Grant stops it behind the net. Nice little hit there on Dougal. As Dougal sends it up over to Joachim. And now it's all the way down the ice and now will be picked up here by West. And now the Huskies look to send it into the zone. But they're not able to. And now Doyle tried to send it in deep but he got pushed off the puck. Now it's alongside of the boards. Jaden Venz sends it up. And now that's carried by Alex Nemo. Good shot here by Weeb. Nice save there by Grant as he snags that out of the air to stop any other uh, rebound from happening there. As the Huskies up 5-2 to two in this amazing second period so far. Like I said, grab those chips, grab that popcorn, grab whatever snacky foods you like because uh, this game is going to be an entertaining one. And this period was going to be entertaining. And uh, what did I say? This period was entertaining. And uh, it has been absolutely amazing. Johnson just misses his pass to Lafay, And that will be icing for the Vipers as the faceoff will be to the right of Grant here. And a good opportunity here by the Huskies to possibly get another offensive draw and maybe a quick little goal. Um, as we got 2.20 left here in the second period. It is a very, very close game right now. Face-off win here by Nemo as uh, they send it in deep. Bateman, now Conrad Weeb, he has it, tried to center it to Dick, but now, it's, uh, now that's turned over. Cousins, he sends it in here for the Vipers. That's picked up in the corner, or right, behind the net. Battle there ensues, Jaden Vance trying to get it out. And now Jaden Vance gets it back again, circles around in the corner, sends it back to his defensive partner and Bateman. Bateman sends it up with a nice pass over to Weeb. Weeb tries to get it out, but he does. And now it's sent back into the zone. Bateman has it now. He's behind the net looking for an open man. He sends that one all the way down the ice. And a nice pick up there by Cole Cowan. Cole Cowan. Nice shot there. Tried to tip it over to Nemo, but not was not able to get a good handle of it. As Cole Cowan rides the blue line and keeps it on side. Now it's a good chance here by the Vipers. Leftly leaves it there for Bain. But now Cole Cowan was able to pick it up. Turned over here. Cole Cowan chips it up. Sends that all the way down the ice. No icing will be called there as Justin Brownlee will be picking it up here. Nice little reverse hit there on Souter. Now it's a battle and Sue's in the corner. As they're trying to dig out the puck here with about a minute left here in the third period. The puck's still stuck in that corner. It is loose, but the, uh, the ref will blow the whistle and there'll be a face-off just to the left, or to the right of Grant here. As Nick Lowen will be taking the draw here for the Huskies. Face off win here by Lowen. And now the Vipers, oh, Brownlee does keep it in, but there will be a penalty cross-checking here for the Fort St. John Huskies. As uh, Fernet going to the box once again here. Or I mean Nick Lowen, I meant. Cross check in there on Nick Lowen as he will be going to the box.
as the faceoff will be to the right of Sturgeon. Faceoff win here for the Huskies. Nemo tries to get it out, and he does. Nemo. Great opportunity here by the Huskies. Nemo with a great move there, and a big save there by Grant. As Nemo had an opportunity there by the Huskies, and uh, uh, Grant made a beautiful save there for the Huskies. And uh, man, I'm on the edge of my seat. This entire second period has kept me on my feet, to say the least. It has been a very entertaining second period. 36 seconds left. A little bit of a power play left here for the Vipers. As uh, once again, they go into that T formation here for the Fort St. John Huskies. As Bain sends it in deep here. Surgeon sends it off the boards. Grant keeps it into the zone here for the Vipers. Ooh, but he wasn't able to keep a great handle of it. And now it's a great opportunity here by Caden Fernet. He has a great opportunity here. Big save there by Grant. Yeah, and right to the back of the net. Caden Fernet, your captain, buries that one. Right to the back of the net there for the Huskies. And the Huskies go up six to nothing. A short-handed goal for the Fort St. John Huskies, and my lord, they could score on everything. Five on five, power play, shorthanded. And, and, and this guy, Caden Fournette, I, I gotta give this guy some praise. He looks amazing every time I see the guy. No wonder why he's the captain here for the Huskies. He's setting a huge example, going out there, trying his dear hardest on that PK to get them a big goal here to extend that lead by four going into the third period as we're heading into the second intermission break as that was an amazing way to end off the second period ladies and gentlemen really really was um, if you guys enjoying this uh, I gotta say uh, it's been fun it really has been it's been a lot of fun and I cannot wait to see what happens in the third period but before I do head off we're going to go over some of these scores across the league as well. Fairview Flyers are up 3-2 against the Dawson Creek Kodiaks. And the Grand Prairie Kings are up 4-2 against the North Peace Navigators. As I'm going to head off for a little bit of a break, I'll be back in just a little while. As uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the second minute intermission. And we'll be back for you for the third period. But I'll see you guys in just a bit.
Hey everyone, we're back. Zoned out a little bit there, but we are back in action here for the uh, Forte John Huskies versus the Sexsmith Vipers game as we got a great game ahead of us. You know, the second period was absolutely entertaining. Um, the third period is going to be even more entertaining as well. Uh, kind of get into some quick scores across the league and in the NHL before the uh, third period begins. Um, in the third period still, the Fairview Flyers are absolutely popping off as they had a pretty rough game yesterday. They're up 6-2 against the Dawson Creek Kodiaks. And in the final of the Grand Prairie Kings versus the Prince River Navigators, that is 5-2. Uh, and then we got the current game right now between the Fa uh, Fort St. John Huskies and the Sexman Vipers, which is tied up at 2. And then for scores around the league right now in the NHL, as I'll just load it up here on my app, as uh, we'll kind of go over. There's a lot of games on right now. we got the Canucks and Kraken. That game is at 3-2. to two. And in the final games, Rangers beat the Senators 3-2. to two. The Flames beat the Capitals 4-3, to three, so that's a big win there for the Flames fans in overtime. Uh, the Wild beat the Ducks 4-3 to three in overtime as well. The Jets beat the Predators 6-4. to four. Canadians beat the Red Wings 6-1. to one. Avalanche beat the Lightning 4-3. to three. Uh, And there's so much more games. There's a list upon games. And Penguins... Absolutely pummel the Maple Leafs seven to one. I'm sorry if you're a Maple Leafs fan, but whew, I, I would feel bad to be a Leafs fan right now. Uh, let's get into the action here, though, between the Huskies and the uh, Sexsmith Vipers. As we still got a minute of power play time left here uh, for the Sexsmith Vipers as well. So this is a big opportunity for the Sexsmith Vipers to kind of get themselves back into this game right now as they have a, a big four goal deficit that they need to start breaking down and it begins with this power play here with the next minute. Can they get things going and can they kind of crack this this penalty kill, this lethal penalty kill that the Huskies have? So Collins sends it in deep here for the Vipers. Oh, big hit there behind the boards there. Now in the corner. Battle there is Doyle. He has it, sends it up to the point that Collins. Collins shot there and a nice save there by Sturgeon. Nice chance here by Lefley. Good rebound there and a big save there by Sturgeon. The puck is still loose. Sturgeon scrambling all over the ice. The defense there by the Huskies is lethal, man. It is crazy lethal. 11 seconds left here on the PK. And now there's a penalty on the play here. As Joachim going to the box for a head contact for the next two minutes. And uh, also number 10 going to the box as well. Just trying to hear what they are saying right now. Looks like one was for roughing from what it looks like. And also if you're a Canucks fan, the uh, Canucks just gained the lead three to two as Connor Garland got a goal there for the Canucks. A little update on that game for you guys. As a face-off win here, as Brownlee sends it in deep here for the Huskies. Collins picks it up behind the net as he's looking to break it out here. As they send it in deep, and now the Huskies will be on the power play here for the next two minutes, or I guess next minute and 45 seconds as the Huskies looking to break it out here. As Brownlee, he's carrying it up through the neutral zone here for the Huskies. As he sends it over to Nemo. Nemo sends it in deep. Picked up here by their captain, Caden Fernet. Fernet sends it up to the point to Brownlee. Brownlee over to Justin Brownlee. Good chance here for the Huskies. Actually, that was Raymond Dick who picked that one up, and now it's over to Nathan Brownlee. Brownlee over to Dick. Dick, good chance here over to Weeb. Great chance, rebound. Oh, and a stretch of the pads there by Grant to shut the door. And now Brownlee, nice chance here, nice block. And Nathan Brownlee keeps it in the zone as they try to clear attempt there by Norton. And another great save there by Grant. He's been making numerous big saves here tonight. Brownlee sends it in. Nice hit there by Clapp. And now it's behind the net. Over to Nemo. Nemo with a great opportunity there. And that just missed wide there. What an opportunity there for the Huskies as he sends over to Weeb. Weeb sends it over to Brownlee. Brownlee looking to enter into the zone here for the Huskies. He makes some nice moves, tries to get it over to Lowen. And now that one's sent all the way down the ice, will be picked up here by Brownlee. 
Brownlee sends it up to Co uh, Cohen. Cohen sends it up to Caden Fournette, who has been looking stellar tonight with a shorthanded goal. Fournette makes a nice move over to London, and that just missed the pass as uh, Moody sends this one in deep. Foul there up alongside of the boards. The penalty will be done here in the next four seconds as the Huskies do keep it in the zone. Brown Brownlee keeps it in. Moody, Moody, nice shot there. Big save there by Grant. Now it's a battle up alongside of the boards here. And now big hit there as well there. Nice chance here. Oh, what a chance there by Caden Fernet. It was he's right up in front of that net. Oh, great chance here for the Huskies. Chase Sunday making some great moves. He got shoved down there after a great toe drag. Now Lee, he has it now up at the point. He sends it over to Moody. One timer and that misses wide. Bateman keeps it in. Over to Lee. Lee gets hit hard. Lee sends it down. Back over to Lee. What a pass there by Moody as Lee gets pushed off the puck there by Lefley. Hey, they're still in the zone. They've been in the zone here for the past three minutes as he sends it over to Bateman. Bateman looking around, sends it into the corner. That'll be picked up here by Lowen. And that one's sent all the way down the ice, but that's kept in there by Brandon Moody. He makes a nice little move. He gets pushed off the puck, though, and he chips into the corner. The Vipers trying to keep it out, but the Huskies keep it on in. Cowan wasn't able to get that ball hold of that puck. Bateman sends it back down to Cowan. As now the Vipers looking to get it out. And now Juckles sends that one all the way down the ice. That'll be stopped there by uh, the goalie. And now the Huskies looking to carry it up. Sturgeon did stop it behind the net. I always seem to forget his name for some reason. Like slips my mind. As now the Huskies looking to break it up. Moody chips it in. Grant has a handle of it. He gets a little hit there as that will be I, no icing on the play as Magnuson picks it up here in the corner for the Vipers. Leaves it there for Duchette. Nice chance there. It went off of one of the Huskies player. Kind of got tipped there, but Sturgeon makes the uh, nice stop there as uh, the penalty, or not penalty, the stoppage of play and the faceoff will be right to the right of Sturgeon. As you can see, it's been a long day for me. I've done nothing but work and now here doing play-by-play -play for the Huskies. It has been a long day. But I'm absolutely loving this game between the Huskies and the Vipers. It has been absolutely amazing so far. What a chance there from Grant. And that just missed wide there. And a whistle has been blown there. Surgeon gets another stoppage of play there after a good little save there. And there'll be another face off to the right of him. Fernet with the draw here. Face off win here for the Huskies. Burgess sends over to Lowen. Lowen to Fernet. He tried to, or Lowen, I mean. And he tried to set it up. And now Thomas Lowen. He sends it back behind the net to Burgess. Burgess back over to Thomas Lowen. Lowen sends it up to Cole Cowan, and that will that will be icing there on the Huskies as Cowan just wasn't able to get a handle of it. Just missed his stick. 14-27 left here in the third period. It has been a pretty good period here so far. Pretty entertaining. Lots of action between these two teams. As another face-off win here by the Huskies. As big hit there up alongside of the boards as Burgess trying to get it out. And now they send it up. Cowan leaves it there for Nick Lowen. Nick Lowen carrying it up here for the Huskies. Looking around. Nice shot there, but that got blocked there by one of the Vipers. And now picked up here by Nathan Brownlee. Nathan Brownlee looking for an open man. Brownlee looking around, looking to carry it up, sends it over to Keaton Hartness. Hartness sends it over to Nick Lowen. Lowen looking to chip it in here, and he does. Sends it into the zone, that'll be stopped behind the net by Grant. And now the Vipers looking to carry it through the zone. Their cousins get stopped up there. The Huskies looking to get another good opportunity here. Big hit there by Dougal, as Dougal pressuring Hartness up alongside of the boards, nice little hit there by Phillips. Nice shot there, and that will be out of play as a nice shot there by Brownlee sending that one out of play. Great game here so far between the Huskies and the Six Mid Vipers. 
It has been an amazing game so far as a faceoff win here for the Huskies as Moody keeps it in. Walking the line over to Brownlee. Brownlee back over to Moody. They absolutely look like a perfect defensive pairing. Has a great chance there as Phillips leaves it behind the net. As the Huskies try to chip it out, but they're not able to. Or they are, I meant the Vipers are able to chip it out. Brownlee sends it behind the net to Brandon Moody. Moody carrying it up now for the Huskies being pressured. As Laverne chips it over to Hartness and Hartness chips it into the zone. Collins has it now for the Vipers. Sends it over to Doucette. He gets stopped up here by Caden Benz and cut off. Bateman, he circles behind the net and sends it up to Dawson Phillips. Phillips sends it up and wasn't able to get a good handle of that was number nine. Raymond Dick, as that will be icing there on the play. And now it'll be all the way down the ice to the right of Ty Grant here with 12.36 left here in the third period. Like I said, it's been an amazing game so far. I was going to check the, the goal scores of this game so far here for the, the Huskies in this game uh, to quickly kind of go over it. Of course, can't tap on it. Here we go. Finally, my phone works. <laughs> As uh, Magnuson sends it in deep here, he gets cut off there. Jaden Venz playing very good. They're protecting the puck. Good job there by Jaden Venz. Sends it up. Sambo tries to send it around. And now the Huskies look to chip it out. Picked up here by Conrad Weeb. He's carried it up here for the Huskies. Sanders it to Raymond Dick. What a chance there. That top line's been amazing here for the Huskies. As Weeb looking around. Weeb up to the point to Thomas Lowen. Lowen, nice shot there, but that's blocked by Sambo. As Sambo pressuring Thomas Lowen here. Thomas Lowen makes a nice little stop up move, tries to dump it in. Nemo. Over to Conrad Weeb. Nice shot as Conrad Weeb got stepped up on there as Lowen wasn't able to keep it into the zone. Now it'll be picked up here by Burgess. Burgess here. Nice little move there. That got turned over though. Doyle tries to center it. Nice stick there by Sturgeon. Nice little hit there. Another nice hit there once again. There by Caden Fernet as he chips that one up. Picked up here by London. Over to Nemo. Nemo carrying it up here for the Huskies. Chips it over to Caden Fernet. Back over to Nemo, but he wasn't able to get a good handle of it. Fernet did get a good shot though. Tried to center it back to Fernet. And now Moody over to Brownlee. Nice shot there. Blocked there by Doyle. And now the Vipers looking to carry it out of the zone. Moody, he stops up. And now Fernet sends it in here for the Huskies. Doyle. He has a handle of it trying to beat out Moody, but a good defensive play here by Moody. Big hit there by Chase London. Pushing back and forth here between Doyle, Doyle and London. And now good chance over to Deke there by Curtis Lee, but he set that puck too far ahead of him. And now the Vipers, they have a handle of it, but now the Huskies, they got it back. Brandon Moody sends it over to Cole Cowan. Cowan sends it in. And now the Huskies looking to get it out. And now Jaden Benz picks it up here for the Huskies. Benz sends it over to Cowan. Cowan sends it up. Oh, Collins tries to step up there on Brownlee, but Brownlee was ready for that. Jaden Benz keeps it up. Ooh, right on the line, he keeps it in. Nice move there by Benz, and that one's out of play. Good stoppage of play here. 10.05 left. We're halfway through the third period so far. The Vipers have not been able to generate a whole lot here in this third period so far. 32 to 16 for shots so far uh, for the Huskies as well. But, I, I mean, just the Huskies are looking like a very dominant team so far in this game. They've been looking like the better team. They've been doing really good on the power play, the PK, 5-on-5. Five five. They've just been a phenomenal team all night long. And uh, they just got to keep it up for the rest of the game. The next 10 minutes, they just got to keep up with that speed, that physicality, and they've been playing... Absolutely great, and don't buy into the crap. Oh, what a shot there by Nick Lowen as he rips that one past Grant Bar down there, and what a goal there by Nick Lowen. Wow, what a shot. He has been also someone to talk about as well. Nick Lowen, the third line C there for the Fort St. John Huskies with a huge goal himself. What a goal there by Nick Lowen. The second goal of the night for that man, he has just been on absolute fire as he gets a big one there for the Fort St. John Huskies, extending their lead to seven to two. 
another huge lead once again here for the Fort State John Huskies heading into the third period. They've been looking amazing so far. And now they send this one up. Keep it into the zone. Cole Cowan with a good opportunity here. Nice backhand, and that just missed wide. Cowan tries to set it up to the point. Oh, and Nick Lowen was going for a big hit there. Sambo. Clap now has a good chance here. Big stick there by Cole Cowan up to the point. Brownlee laid a big hit there. And now that lays a good opportunity here by Cowan. Over to Nick Lowen, but he wasn't able to get a good handle of it. As Nick Lowen in the corner. Battling for the puck. Dawson Phillips goes hard after the puck, but not able to get a handle of it. Burgess sends that one over as Thomas Lowen sends that one in. And now the Vipers, they have it now. Carry it up is number 13, Dougal. He wasn't able to get the good shot off there as he fanned on it. Nice hit there on Thomas Lowen. And now Keaton Hart has good opportunity here. He makes a nice little move. Wasn't able to get a good handle of it. And a nice stick there by Grant. Now it's up to the point. Burgess sends it in. A little bit of pushing and shoving here by Jukes. As Jukes keeps a handle of him as Jukes is holding on to Keenan Hartness and going right into this chokehold again here by uh, Jukes once again. As uh, he's going to be going to the box here for holding, which is understandable, as he was keeping a firm grip there on Keaton Hartness. As he's going to be going to the box. Two minutes for holding there on Jukes as the... Uh, Huskies will be going back to another power play. I don't know what he was going for, but uh, he's going to definitely be going to the box for the next two minutes there. This is number seven there of the Vipers, Jocks Jukes. Uh, he'll be going to the box here for the next three minutes, or two minutes, I meant. Face off win here for the Vipers as they try to get it out of the zone. And they send that one all the way down the ice. And that will be stopped there behind the net by Sturgeon. Sturgeon picked up here by Nathan Brownlee. Brownlee carrying it up here for the Huskies. Nice little move there as he kind of got tripped up there. No penalty on the call. Picked up here. Sends it over to Raymond Dick. Dick sends it back over to Weeb. Weeb not able to get a good handle of it. That one sent all the way out of play. As that one was sent up into the stanchions there, I think. Eight oh one left here in the second period, or in the third period, I meant. As it's been a pretty entertaining third period so far. Big goal there by Nick Lowen, who went far down for Downski in the third period to give them the seven to two lead. As the Huskies still have a minute twenty le uh, twenty eight left here on the power play, as they do win the face off here. As Curtis Lee settles down the puck at the point, gets it over to Brandon Moody. Moody. Over to London, back over to Moody. Moody, back over to London, one T, and a nice save there by Grant as he swallows that one right on up, and a big save there by him as there'll be a face-off right to the right of Grant. Face-off win here for the Huskies. Moody looking to keep it in the zone. He does. As they send it in deep is London. Picked up here by Nick Lowen. Two goals tonight for him. He's been looking amazing. Over to the point to Brandon Moody. Over to Br over to uh, Lee. Back over to Moody. Moody tries to center it. Nice chance here as it goes behind the net is for net. Or Nick Lowen, I meant. Now Chase London gets it over to Brandon Moody. Moody back over to London, sends it over to Lee. Lee, nice shot there. That just misses wide, and that's all the way down the ice as he missed that one pretty hard. Sent all the way down the ice, it'll be picked up here by Moody. Moody sends that one over to Cole Cowan. Cole Cowan circles back here. Looking for an open man, sends it down. Nice little pass there. Curtis Lee, he circles back. He's at the point now. Curtis Lee circles there, leaves it there for Moody. Back over to Lee. Lee makes a nice little juke there. Centers it, not able. Moody with a good chance there. Big save there by Grant. Still loose here for the Huskies as the Vipers send that one all the way down the ice. Stopped there by Surgeon here with seven seconds left and now will be it for the power play here for the Huskies. It's been an amazing power play so far here for the Huskies. 
They've been playing really, really well as they look to send it up here. And now Dawson Phillips going hard after the puck. He stops it behind the net as Dougal battling with him. And now Cousins carrying it up here for the Vipers as he chips it off the boards and that will be picked up here by Bateman. The Vipers go for a change. Now that one gets sent up and Hartness chips it into the zone right behind the net. Phillips going hard after it, battling there with Cousins. Phillips hard after Cousins as he's mauling all over him trying to get that puck. Good play here by Dawson Phillips, but so wasn't able to get the puck. Dougal, he has it, sends it up to Magnuson. Now it'll be down the ice. As that is picked up, Bain hard after the puck. It's battled up alongside of the board. Doucette gets it up to the point. He sends that one, a nice shot there by number 12. Doucette picks it up again. Back over to Grant. Grant, nice slap shot there. That misses wide though. That was blocked by one of the Huskies players as the Huskies look to chip it out. Collins keeps it in. Into the corner it is. As they look to get it out, Vance chips it up the boards. Magnuson, he has it alongside of the boards. Leaves it there for one of his other teammates. He's being pressured hard as Tristan Bain. Generate, generate something. Magnuson tried to get the shot up, but he got poked. Grant, nice shot there. That just misses wide. Collins picks it up at the point. Nice shot there, nice save there by Sturgeon. Keaton Hartness hard to get off after getting hit hard. Another nice hit there by Hartness on Collins. Sends it up to the point is Grant. Grant gets, uh, hits his own teammate there with a shot, and that one gets out of the zone. 4.38 left here in the third period. 7-2 seven seven here for the Fort St. John Huskies. As he tries to send it in deep. Lefley sends it over. Johnson picks it up here for the Vipers. Sends it over to Lefay. He, uh, he avoided a check there, but turned it over. And now the Huskies send it up. Nice pass there by Dick over to Nemo. What a toe drag there by Nemo! And puts that one right into the back of the net. Nemo with a beautiful goal there for the Fort St. John Huskies. Beautiful toe drag. Went forehand, the backhand. Put that one right under the back of the net. Breaking Grant's ankles, man. What a beautiful goal there by Alex Nemo, who just seems to have these majestic hands out there. Man, it is absolutely gorgeous what Alex Nemo can do out there. And the Huskies go up 8-2 here with 4-10 remaining here in the third period. And there's a little bit of a goalie change. Grant going off and uh, Barron will be going into the net here for the Vipers to finish off the rest of the game. As Grant gets pulled, he goes off to the dressing room to get an early shower as Cousins sends that one up. Picked it up here is Oscar Burgess. Oh, and he gets slammed in hard into the boards, but he gets right back up. And now a nice move here by Thomas Lowen. That was a little bit of a risky move right towards the front of the net, and that will be offside there on the Huskies. Oscar Burgess took a hard bump there. He's going off to the bench now. Recuperate his energy, but he's looking good. That's the good thing to see. Oscar Burgess up and ready after a pretty hard hit behind the net there. 3.48 left here in the uh, uh, third period here. 36 to 18 for shots for the Fort St. John Huskies. They have looked amazing so far in this game. Face off win here by Fernet, or by Nick Lowen, I meant. Sends over to Brownlee. Nick Lowen, he has it now. Looking to break it out here for the Huskies. Sends over to Justin Brownlee. And now the Vipers, they pick it up now as they turn it over. Dougal carrying it into the zone here for the nice shot there from the point from Clapp with a nice clapper and a nice save there by Sturgeon. as the faceoff will be right to the right here of Daniel Sturgeon. Faceoff win here for the Vipers. Collins keeps it in deep. And now nice move there by Moody as those sick hands, man, like I keep talking about. Brandon Moody looks absolutely gorgeous every time he steps out on that ice. And a nice stop there by Barron here with 3.14 left.
Also, guys, just to remind you, if you haven't already, make sure to go check out the Facebook page as well for the Fort St. John Huskies. If you haven't already, make sure to go check out the Fort St. John Huskies page on Facebook. They got some great stuff going on there. And also, they're having an auction. They're auctioning off their pink jerseys starting Sunday, October 24th on Facebook. The bids will continue all online until our breast cancer awareness game on Friday, October 29th, as we go up against the Grand Prairie Kings. So make sure to donate. Go and bid for those jerseys. They look absolutely gorgeous. And uh, all the proceeds will go towards some new uh, pink jerseys for the Fort St. John Huskies. And also uh, uh, additional profits will be donated to the FSJ uh, Hospital Foundation as well. So it goes towards some great causes. And uh, let's get right back into this one here as we have 242 left here between the Huskies and the uh, Vipers. It's been a pretty entertaining game so far as Fernet leaves it there for Lee. Lee makes a nice move there. Nice shot there, nice save there by Barron. And a nice stop there as he has a stoppage of play there by Barron. 2.26 left here in the third period. Back and forth hockey already. Face-off win here as it's up alongside of the boards. Lowen being pressured. Sends it in deep. Leftly throws it over to Collins. Collins, or Cousins I mean, tries to, set, tries to carry it up, but he's being pressured here by Laverne. And now the Vipers, they get it right back. But now the Huskies, they get it right back as well. And Oscar Burgess makes a nice move and takes a hit to make a play. Hartness, nice shot there, and that misses wide. Another big hit there, up alongside of the boards. Laverne chips it into the corner. Harden is going hard after it. Laverne tries to send it back over to Burgess as he wasn't able to keep it in the zone. Burgess sends it over to Thomas Lowen. Lowen, oh, that was actually kind of sick. He kind of tried to pass it, but he kind of fanned on it and, and somehow got it back in the stick. It actually kind of looked kind of cool. Oh my lord. As uh, Magnuson carried it in now, Thomas Lowen rubs him off. And now Doyle tries to keep it in the zone, but not able to. And now the Huskies looking to carry it in. Dick sends it over to Thomas Lowen. Lowen carried it into the zone here for the Huskies. As he skates out wide, over to Nemo. Nemo, nice shot there, and a blocker saved there by Barron. West sends it up to Magnuson. No uh, icing offside there. Doyle, nice shot there. And a minute remaining here in the third period as we have 55 seconds left here in the third period between the uh, Fort St. John Huskies and the Six Smith Vipers. I just wanted to remind you guys we will be back in action once again next week on Thursday the 28th as we go up against the Dawson Creek Kodiaks. And then the night after that on the 29th, we're going to be going up against the Grand Prairie Kings, so make sure to tune into those games, whether you come and watch them here at the rink or you come and watch them with me here on the YouTube channel. So we're going to be live streaming every single one of them, and I will be with you guys for every single one of them. And I cannot wait as we got 35 seconds left here in the third period as they send it up. And now we'll be all the way down the ice, and that should be icing. But like I said once again, Thursday the 28th, the Fort St. John Huskies will be going up against the Dawson Creek Kodiaks. And then Friday, October 29th, they're going to be going up against the Grand Prairie Kings. Make sure to tune into the game, whether you come into the rink and watch it or you watch it on the YouTube channel. We'll be definitely live streaming them. All games are at 8 p.m. So make sure you be tuned in because we're going to be having some exciting games coming up here for the Fort St. John Huskies as they look like they're going to be improving their record to 10 and oh, ladies and gentlemen, do you understand how impressive that is? 10 and oh, that, that is absolutely incredible for the Fort St. John Huskies. And I thought I would never see this, honestly. Will the Fort St. John Huskies go undefeated all season long? I don't know, but keep in tune for every single uh, Huskies games. It's been absolutely exciting. And thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, next week, I'll be with you once again, Peyton McCulloch for the play-by-play. -play. I'll be with you once again for Thursday and Friday's games as it was absolutely amazing as the Huskies walk away with a big 8-2 victory. For right now, guys, I'm going to sign off here. Thank you very much for tuning in, and I'll see you guys all next week for amazing hockey here for the Fort St. John Huskies, and let's go Huskies.